Typewriter lovers, I have a new old typewriter on the desk. Uh, <laughs> the case is missing its handle, but that is not an indication of the condition of what is inside. And let me quickly reveal that to you. Wait, you see this. Ta-da! Would you look at that beauty? A Remington Home Portable. Very small typewriter. And then I'll just put my hand on it just to give you an idea exactly how small. Very small typewriter. And these, according to the typewriter database website, uh, were only manufactured in 1937. So, it's 85 years young. If you look uh, closely, you'll see that there is some um, degradation, some staining of the keys. I think that gives it a nice sort of authentic old look. Uh, the, uh, the metal, I think they may be chrome, I'm not sure. Um, surrounds on the keys are all in very good condition. Uh, gave it a nice cleaning. The body of it buffed up very well. It was covered in some grime and dust and a bit of mould. Space bar likewise. Um, it's screwed onto the base of the of the case to make it easy um, to put back in the box. Um, the ribbon, I don't know how old that ribbon is, but there is actually plenty of ink still on it. So I didn't have to change the ribbon, not yet anyway. And to do that, I'd have to... Uh, remove the uh, the spools which are the original uh, spools for this typewriter and uh, it's important th because they they have a uh, notches or extensions on them that that, that fit into uh, detents in, in the mechanism so so it's important not only that they're in the right place uh, right top right top there you go um, hmm. they're both right top anyway never mind that yeah this is a Beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, because it's a, 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 an ultra portable, it's made to be obviously carried around. It does have some sacrifices. It doesn't have a, a big carriage return lever. In fact, to store it in the box, you have to push that knob in because what happens, I'll just demonstrate it from the other side. I will, if I can get it focused. That, that prevents the carriage return from from working so i have to pull that carriage return pull that lever forward that's two clicks and then you know move the carriage um and that's the carriage release lever there um yep yeah, type type slugs in very good condition not grimy producing a clear print type bars all free and working um always worth spending a bit of time just getting these things oiled up and cleaned up usually a good cleaning actually when type bars one thing that happens with manual typewriters is the type bars are not free some of them are some of them get stuck uh, in the in the segment and that just needs a what they call a flush or a cleaning uh, yeah it's a beautiful uh, beautiful uh, old, very old, but looking very fresh for for its age. I think you'll agree. I'm going to do a bit, little bit of typing on it, just so you can see it in action. That's the Remington Home Portable from uh, 1937. And so here it is, the Remington Home Portable, 1937. I'm going to do a little bit, a little amount of small amount of typing on it. I am. And uh, just have to get the paper guides. Or I don't know. I have to find a manual for this. The paper guides, which are uh, these things, and they just appear to lift up a little bit and then slide across onto the paper to hold the paper in place. So I must uh, just do a little bit of reading about that, about exactly how that's supposed to work. Um, there's no uh, paper support. This thing's supposed to be used, like you know, on a I don't know, on a park bench or something. Move my other microphone out of the way so the paper doesn't get stuck in it. Anyway, we'll just do a, a short bit of typing. 
and we'll go all the way to the margin Anthony you know one of the disadvantages is it doesn't have a backspace key <laughs> so if you make a mistake you have to actually manually you know you have to manually move the carriage back but ah, look uh, it's a compromise but again uh, it's a compromise designed to you know to uh, to get everything uh, everything fitting um, in 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 a small space, these ultra portables, uh, as I say, those sacrifices have to be made. I'm just going to adjust the camera position very slightly here. Oh, I said very slightly. It didn't didn't. Uh, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, <laughs> I might just go into manual focus mode as well, so that it doesn't start hunting focus all over the place. Anyway, um, we'll do a very quick, we will honestly, we'll do a quick typing test. Yes, and it would help if you had the typewriter positioned uh, sturdily. The carriage return is just a, not just as easy as it is on some of the larger uh, typewriters. If I want to do an uh, exclamation mark, I have to uh, do a full stop and a backspace and apostrophe. 